to be an astronaut since July 20th, 1969. Uh, it was on that day where I, as a young boy, along with millions and millions of people around the world, watched those first footsteps on the moon. And that really kind of lit a flame within me to, to someday hopefully uh, travel to space. Space offers solutions or ideas at a time when the world is experiencing unprecedented stresses. I do, and I think it comes from two sources. The first source is uh, the space program is a perfect example that nothing is impossible. You know, for thousands of years, people thought that it was impossible to travel to the moon, and you know, obviously we proved that wrong. Uh, but the other thing is is when we build collaboration on the foundation of on wonder, uh, amazing things happen. Uh, and it opens the door to, to working together, to setting aside differences, to seeing different perspectives. Uh, it really opens up the mind to increase possibilities. I love when you talk about awe and wonder because it's such a contrast to the fear and anxiety and mistrust yeah. that pervades in the world today. When you look at the rollbacks on, for example, poverty, hunger, health equity. Do you think that space offers specific solutions to a time of a pandemic? You know, this, this saying that we're all in this together is obviously not a cliche. Literally every person on the planet is affected in one way or another. That should be a source of solidarity. It should be a source of resilience. Uh, it should be a source of unity. You then wrote a book on your retirement from NASA called Orbit Perspective. And that jacket cover was so telling. It had you in what I guess a layman would call a cockpit, looking out at the planet from the outside in. What did it show you? And what did you learn from that insight that hardly anyone else has? I describe it as a sobering contradiction. Because on the one hand, I'm looking down at the planet at this indescribably beautiful, oasis, oasis in the, in the black, blackness of space and the nothingness of space. It's just indescribably beautiful. It's breathtaking. Uh, it's awe-inspiring. It's, it's moving. It's emotional. But the other side of that coin, you have to realize as you're looking at this beautiful planet that life is not always as beautiful as, as it, the planet appears from space. There's so many problems on our planet. There's poverty, there's, there's hunger, there's, there's conflict. And it fills you with a sense of, of injustice that it doesn't have to be this way. You know, when you when you zoom out to that perspective, all those things that we quarrel over, all those things that we think are so important, uh, kind of blur into ins insignificance. Uh, and what's left is our true underlying unity that is that is very apparent from that vantage point.